buddies. It's nice to see you again. What's been up with me? I just got back from a trip to Europe. I was there for two weeks. And I got back last night. And I'm feeling a bit tired. But not too bad. And, yep. That's pretty much what's up with me. So, bye. So this morning I watched all of your videos from when I was gone. It was very nice to see all your faces and to hear your accents and things. Um, <laughs> I have really terrible accents. JT said something about me trying some accents in my video because I've been to like Scotland and you know everything and I don't even know if I want to do that because it's going to be so bad. After trying a couple accents I've decided to not share those with you because it's really awful. Maybe sometime if we're having a conversation on Skype or something where it's not recorded I will share my accents with you. Okay, So I guess I'll just go through some highlights of my trip. Normandy was very cool. It's in France in case you didn't know and it's from World War II D-Day or whatever. It's where they stormed the beaches and we went to the museums there. The Airborne Museum was really cool because they had like sort of like stories of individuals a little bit more, which was awesome. And we saw like the steeple where this man, he was like a paratrooper, right? And he was like parachuting into the town and his parachute got stuck on this spire and then someone shot him in the foot and then he just pretended to be dead after that because like there was blood running down so they just assumed he was dead and he just stayed really still and he survived I don't know if you guys know that I'm a bit of like a history freak nerd a history nerd I'm a bit of a history nerd Edinburgh Scotland was awesome it was like the coolest place like they have this castle that just comes up out and it's on rocks. It looks like Hogwarts. It really does. And I can totally see how Joe, you know, J.K. Rowling, was able to do, like, was able to imagine Hogwarts so easily because it is so much alike. And the guys in Edinburgh were so hot. I don't know what it was, but they were, like, seriously, they were so good looking. And they were so nice. And I would love to spend more time in Edinburgh, possibly you know, without the stifling presence of my parents. <laughs> Not that they're stifling, but they are to flirtations, you know. But uh, anyway, also me looking like I'm like 16 is stifling to flirtations. Hey, I turned 21. I turned 21 while I was gone. Or while I was leaving, I guess. Anyway, that's exciting, right? Um, we went to this place called Inverness in Scotland, and we went to like a lot of the highlands and stuff, and this old castle into Loch Ness and stuff, like, you know, from you know, Loch Ness Monster, where the Loch Ness Monster is supposed to be, Loch Ness. Anyway, we went out there, and it was very cool, and um, we went to this place called the Ragwell, or something like that. It wasn't called the Ragwell, I don't think. But anyways, it's this well, and the Scottish people have this, like, tradition, superstition type thing, where if you, like, take a drink from the well and tie a rag to a tree around it, then you all of your worries go away and but if you take something from one of the trees like take a rag then you have all of that person's worries like you take on all of them so i thought that was cool there were a lot of other cool places but my brain is like not working properly so we went to belfast for a little bit first we went to this place called giant's causeway and we climbed on the rocks there because Pretty much every trip that I ever take with my family, we end up climbing on rocks or logs or something. We end up doing some climbing. I don't know why. It's just how it is. So we got that in. Then we went to Belfast. And it's really interesting because, you know, that's where they had a lot of the whole, like, clashing between, like, the Catholics and the Protestants and stuff like that. And it hasn't been that long since all of that happened. And they have these peace walls that they built between, like, the Catholic and Protestant portions of, like, neighborhoods and stuff. And they were, like, so high. Like, they were, like, above houses. And the people on the other side, like, the people whose houses backed up against it, had to, like, have, like, bulletproof windows. They still have bulletproof windows and, like, these, like, great things over so that when people throw, like, Molotov cocktails over the side, they won't, like, catch their house on fire. 
So anyway, Belfast was pretty cool and interesting, but it was kind of scary. Like, they still close their gates at night and stuff, different time. Yeah. Oh, we went to Wales, which was really cool. We stopped in Hollyhead. It was, like, where we landed was in Hollyhead. But then we went up to this place called Conway, um, and it was really cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyways, Conway was very cool because it had, like, walls that surrounded it from back in the day, you know, when they had to protect the village. And so it had, like, walls, and it had this castle. And it was really cool because you could go up on the walls around the castle and, like, look in because they, like, had the roof taken off. So you could, like, look and see all the rooms and, like, how it was laid out and stuff like that, which was cool. Okay, some random facts. Um, I feel like British food is very bland. It doesn't really have any flavor. Um, so that's kind of random. And then there, we had two different taxi drivers who mentioned Taco Bell to us about it being, like, this American place. Like, this guy, uh, one of ours was talking about how, like, when he goes to the place, he likes to, like, eat the food that they eat, right? And so he's talking about when he went to Orlando to, like, go to all the theme parks and stuff like that. He ate at the Mexi this Mexican place, and we are like, oh, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, the bell... Talk, uh, we were like, Taco Bell? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, why? I don't like Taco Bell. It's like the lowest possible rung on the food, you know, like, on what you want to eat, right? And, like, is that true? Because I hate Taco Bell. I think it's disgusting. But apparently it's this big American thing. I guess because, like, most chains have actually moved over there now. Like, there's McDonald's and Burger King and all this other stuff. And so maybe it's just because they don't have Taco Bells over there, so it's just, like, more American or something. And maybe it was just coincidence that two different taxi drivers mentioned Taco Bell in conjunction with America, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm very sorry that I can't, like, entertain you with stories of me flirting with guys or anything, but that just didn't happen. So let me know if you have any specific questions about anything, because I didn't really know what to say about it that much. I didn't know what you would be interested to hear. So if you have any specific questions, let me know. Okay, so my recommendation for today is to get some sleep. And <laughs> um, I miss all of you. It's very good to be back. And JT, I'll see you tomorrow.